Okay, so welcome back to another video. Uh, having uploaded my uh, video yesterday of me getting a couple of kills, I've had quite a few people say they would like just a, you know a mini guide. It doesn't have to be anything um, you know substantially good and and logical or well thought through, but just something to help them through each of the mechanics and just explain some some of the stuff. So what I thought I'd do is literally just play my. Uh, a clip here on screen and try and talk over so the first mechanic you get are these little green balls and it's pretty simple you just go and stand on them one of you in each and then we always just use the middle spot but you basically need to stand next to each other uh, and then once that hits you can reflect it and then the little roots spawn uh, we split off and go west and east uh, and one of us starts north and the other starts south you should wear dps gear for this and just uh, dps them down obviously if you do start to clash and then just skip over and you know do the other routes. Um, it's worth noting you can get out of range of Solax uh, attacks if you're the DPSer, not the base tank. Um, the base tank normally wears sort of Defender or Acto and a staff for this little bit. Um, and then what will happen is when you're coming towards the end of the routes, you'll both get a timer and an arrow. Now the arrow is the direction at which uh, the roots come from and it will be pointing on the map so that basically means they're going to go from there at you and there'll be three of them and yours and your partners will be timed differently so you can see here Alex and I call in, in TeamSpeak where ours are where the opponent your other players are and then um, we run slash surge away from them I recommend anticipating or freedoming uh, because it allows you to surge and, and you know move obviously out of them they will trap you if you haven't done that um, after that you get, as the DPS, you get two blights and what this does is um, it's, it's a standard 4k hit but you can debilitate it, you can reflect it or you can res it for 4k um, and you'll get two of these. Uh, do, do, you know, you can change your varial rotation as you wish. After the second one or as the second one's about to hit, you'll then start to get this DPS phase and you want to both sunshine. Alex actually messes up on this one. He sunned away too early because he got a bit confused, but this is just the best cliff I can find for now. Um, we both sunshine and hit the arms first. Obviously, they have 50k each, and then move on to the legs. Um, obviously, if you can, try and use chain as much as possible and Vuln where appropriate as well. Um, it's not like you do actually have quite a long time for this, so it, it's not you know you don't have to be the world's best dps -er and you don't have to worry about this but i do recommend putting your dps gear on here this is only the second kill i did so i basically was focusing on other things and forgot um yeah after that you're going to get a little core spawn and that's basically his centerpiece and it will have 250k life points and when this spawns you the person not on ancients you just want to vuln it uh, and then onslaught um Onslaught should take it down if both of you onslaught to about 120, 110k. Um, and once you've done that, then he sort of restarts the cycle of the first. So it goes back to a couple of auto attacks and then the green balls again. So the next phase is exactly the same. It repeats. The only thing that changes when on the second time round is when you get to having done all the roots and the root binds, you only get one uh, blighted sort of charge you know, that you res or reflect. Uh, before it goes into the, you being able to sunshine on the arms and legs. Um, I'm just going to skip through it now on the screen. You'll see me do that. And this will bring you to the end of phase one. Um, obviously, there's lots of mistakes here and you could DPS where you feel comfortable. Uh, I've already started doing a lot more damage than I am in these clips, having done a few more kills. Uh, I'm going to do separate videos, I think, for phase two, three and four. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Also, last little thing, this is day of release. Uh, this is all what we know so far. So if you have any other information to share, you think you've got a better method, do let me know. Um, but yeah, don't quote me on any of this stuff. This is just to help those struggling with the first phase um, and to get through into the sort of mid fight and the interesting stuff. Enjoy.